Diffraction lab by us. What is diffraction? Diffraction is the ability of waves to spread out after going through small holes or around corners. The diffraction of light indicates that light is a wave. As you can see in these two figures right here. Diffraction grating. So it is a periodic array of closely spaced holes or slits or grooves. You'll learn how a diffraction grating sends different wave wavelengths off to different angles. Diffraction gratings are the basis of spectro spectroscopy, an important tool for determining the composition of materials by the wavelengths they emit. Here we have a CD, which is an example of diffraction grating. The microscopic pics in this DVD as a diffraction acts as a diffraction grating, breaking white light into its component colors. The objectives. So in this lab, we observed single slit and double slit interference through different apertures. We also learned how to measure the slits small distances accurately. We then calculated the width of the single slit, A, and the distance between the double slits, D. Here you have your double slits here, diffraction for single. For this lab, we set up an apparatus using a laser beam, window, and a screen. The laser is the source of light used for the experiment. The window creates the number of slits the light is interfered by, for example, double and single slit interference. The screen displays an image of how the light is diffracted once it has been interfered. Single slit. Light from the laser beam hits one single slit, which interferes with the light source destructively, causing a phase shift. Oh, it's kind of weird now because well, let's try it. this matched that, but whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> Double slit. The light from the laser hits two very narrow slits, which then acts like in phase point source of light. In traveling from the slits to the screen, however, the light from the two slits travels different distances. CD diffraction grading. Reflect the laser beam off the CD to display the diffraction grating on the screen, as we can see here. Calculations. So we solved for A for the single slit. Uh, we solved for, but we first we did that, we had to solve for theta for double, single, and the refraction. From there, we saw we were able to solve D for the double, which came out to 2.01 uh, times 10 to the negative 4 meters. And for the single, the distance between the length of the, I'm sorry, the thickness of the slit was 8.8 .8 .8 times 10 to the negative 4 meters. And for the thickness of the slit for the diffraction, it was 2.05 times 10 to the negative 6 meters. And here we have our thetas. Now for our data, this is what pretty much what we calculated from our calculations. And we got a wavelength of 631 nanometers, experimental. And we also got the length of the screen for each one here, along with the thickness of their slits here for single and the diffraction and our double slit, and our y values for each one, along with their data. We can consider a light going through a single slit interfering with itself, which is called a diffraction. So a diffraction arises from the finite width of the slit, and looking at the picture at the right, that's going to be our A. The result for the angular locations of the minima is A times sine of theta is going to equal M times lambda. M can equal 0, 1, 2, or 3. Light that hits point P from the bottom slit travels further than the slit from the top slit. This extra path, link, path length introduces a phase shift, 
between the two waves and leads to a position dependent interference pattern on the screen. Realizing that phase shifts that are multiples of 2 pi gives us constructive interference while odd multiples of pi lead to destructive interference which leads to the following conditions. Our maxima is going to be d times sine of theta equals m times lambda and our minima is d times sine of theta equals m plus one half times lambda. The minima is going to be the destructive interference and the maxima is going to correspond to the constructive interference. A CD has multiple identical slits that are separated by a distance d and it will have the same effect as if there were two identical slits separated by a distance of d. For example, all angles theta satisfying d times sine of theta equals m times lambda, we will find constructive interference. The difference in the resulting interference pattern lies in those regions that are neither maxima or minima, but rather in between. In this situation, because there are more incoming waves that are available to interfere, the interference becomes more destructive, making the minima appear broader and the maxima sharper. This is why we see an appearance of a brilliant array of colors that change as a function of angle when looking at a CD. Because a CD has a large number of small grooves, each reflecting light becomes a new source, like a small slit.